Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. Um, I just thought I'd explain a little bit about the demon world, actually devils, what they call in the Bible, uh, that some people don't know. You see, devils are, are not like human beings. They don't have souls. They're a form of animal that's very predacious, very uh, cunning and um, very adept at mind control. In my experience, they don't understand language at all. Like for instance, they don't understand English. But they, they're beings of like color of red and black. And um, they actually, they eat the, the, um, the energy that's colored red and black. They can, they can survive on that and so they see the colors of our thoughts and emotions and they attempt they have a way of attempting to change uh, redirect our thoughts and emotions so that the energy of our energy field becomes more red and more black so um so the ways that they do that have to do with stroking or enhancement of certain uh, thought forms that are painful to us or painful, cause pain in other people because we're thinking them. And so it's, it's a kind of a stroking or glomming or crossing of the electromagnetic lines of force that they, do, that they manage to do, which we interpret as mind control. Because what happens is that we start to think very dark, very cruel, or very um, like painful to ourselves thoughts. Um, we start in, in life, we start to act out what is known in the churches, the Christian churches, as the cardinal sins, like um, similar to what uh, is called in the Eastern, in the East Indian churches, the Hinduism and, and like that. It's, it's called uh, lust, anger, greed, pride, and attachment, plus in the Christian churches, uh, gluttony and, uh, and indolence, I think. Maybe I'm wrong, but you get the general notion that, that those colors of the aura, red and black, and those, those uh, thought forms, those desire-filled thought forms uh, called the cardinal sins, create a denseness in the aura because of the glomming of the electromagnetic lines that pulls us down into a world known in many religions, many major religions, as the hell world. Actually, it has many levels. And so, and so I ask you, those of you that practice Satanism, I ask you to consider what you are doing in giving your thoughts and emotions the actions in your lives over to a being that desires to to actually live on and feast on your electromagnetic field energy, your life force by turning you to the life of a career criminal. So just an explanation. I don't know that all people understand about Satan. They think he's a great powerful dude who can make them great and powerful. I mean in fact Satan is more like a leopard or a lion or a tiger. A very, very cunning, very predacious, very eager to feed on us. And, but lacking a soul, lacking a higher mind, uh, seeming to have those because of its great gifts of, of mind control and uh, seeming to be like a great warlord on earth because of its great, um, great rapacious desire for, for to, to wreak violence on others. It's not my cup of tea. You know, I tend towards chamomile. <laughs> well, y'all take care. Love you lots. Wonderful solstice energies coming up these days. Solstice 2017, this summer.